before we do head back down, let's head back up. And we can take a sneak peek at floor number 69. Obviously, we can't do anything here. And just in case you weren't aware of that, your party will tell you. Where are you going? Everyone's waiting for us at the 66th floor elevator. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to kind of take a look. There's not much to do here, but a little sneak peek. It's just mostly an office room, but there is a safe point over there and a few vending machines down there that we can't really seem to do anything with but as you can see 69 seems to be the highest floor so let's head down back straight down here and then I believe we want to head just straight to the 66th floor elevator let's just go straight there everybody's waiting for us so let's just get in and, and press the button Oh, crap. Hey, what is it? I recognize that suit. Would you press up, please? Turks? Must be a trap. What choice do I have, really, though? Zang. It must have been a real thrill for you. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. We make it up top. Our hands are behind our backs here. Even tanks, which is kind of weird. Olive is with us once more. She got lost again. You all got caught too? Where is Olive? In a safe place. She's the last surviving ancient. Don't you know? They called themselves the Cetra and lived thousands of years ago. Now they are just a forgotten page in history. Cetra. That girl? Is she a survivor of the Cetra? Cetra, or the ancients, will show us the way to the Promised Land. I'm expecting a lot out of her. The promised Land? Isn't that just a legend? Even so, it's just too appealing not to pursue. It's been said the promised land is very fertile. If the land is fertile, then there's gotta be Mako! Exactly. That is why our money-sucking Mako reactor is necessary. The abundant Mako will just come out on its own. That is where Neo Midgar will be built, Shinra's new glory. I don't even know. Six letter curse word, quit dreaming. Oh really, don't you know? These days all it takes for your dreams to come true is money and power. Well, that is all for our meeting. Come on, out of his way. Hold it! I got a lot I want to say to you. Rude does not care. If you need something else, talk to my secretary. That's a big ass room for the president's office. Sure, we'll go with office. And we wake up inside jail. We'll, we'll talk to Cheska first. I don't know why they put us with Cheska, but I do appreciate that. Thank you, guards. Can we get out? And this is a very important part of the dating mechanic. You can say this as often as you want. You can say, leave it to me, kind of hard. Now, she likes it when you say, leave it to me. She does not like it when you say, kind of hard. And you can do this as many times as you want. So if you want to date her, well, to be honest, you only need to say it once, probably. But if you don't want to date her, this is the point where you just, like, crush her soul. <laughs> can we get out? No. 
no, no, just over and over and over. But, you know, I'm doing fine with her liking me. Leave it to me. You're so brave. I know, baby. I know. Now, here is another dating mechanic. Whoever you think about first likes you a lot. Whoever you think about second likes you a little. And whoever you think about third, no change. So, let's think about Soap first because, well, he's the first party member that we have that we can't date. Sorry, no Soap dating today. Grandpa. What? Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa! Mm. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Next on our list is gonna be Tank. Yeah, it doesn't really matter for me, but I'm gonna do Tank next just to be on the extra cautious side. Hey. Olive is an ancient, and the real name of the ancients is Cetra. The ancients know where the promised land is, and the Shinra is searching for that promised land. I only heard stories about the promised land. I don't know if it really exists. Is that right? The Shinra believe that the promised land is full of Mako energy. Which means if the Shinra get there, they'll suck up all the Mako energy. Then the land will wither away. The plant's gonna get weaker. I can't just leave them be. I'm recruiting new members. Me, Sheska, Fred, and Olive too. How about you? Soap does not seem to care. You're so damn boring. And now I wonder how Olive is doing. Knows how I kind of have to wonder how everybody is doing. Fred, are you there? Olive, you safe? Yeah, I'm all right. I knew that Fred would come for me. Hey, I'm your bodyguard, right? The deal was for one date, right? Oh, I get it. Jessica, Jessica, you're there too? Excuse me? You know, Olive, I have a question. What? Does the Promised Land really exist? I don't know. All I know is, the Cetra were born from the planet, speak with the planet, and unlock the planet. And then, the Cetra will return to the Promised Land, a land that promises supreme happiness. What does that mean? More than words. I don't know. Speak with the planet? Just what does the planet say? It's full of people and noisy. That's why I can't make out what they're saying. You hear it now? I, I only heard it at the church in the slums. Mother said that Midgar was no longer safe. That is, my real mother. Someday I'll get out of Midgar, speak with the planet, and find my promised land. That's what Mom said. I thought I would stop hearing her voice as I grew up, but... It's kind of sad. Now, it's time to just get some sleep. It's been a long climb up the building. It's been a long day. What the hell? The door's open. Now, you just, yeah, the door's open, open. I was trying to think if talking to anybody would, would change anything. It does not. 
So let's try to get out. What's happened? Can I can I open these at all? No. Well, let's just move on by ourselves. Or we could go get Cheska, which is probably more important. Cheska, wake up! What's wrong? Something's wrong. Look outside. She doesn't even care that the door is suddenly open when it shouldn't be. I wonder what happened. He should have the key on him. Come on, Cheska, get Olive. I'll go help Tank and the others. So let's go over here and let them out. Tank Soap, come with me. Something's wrong. How'd you get in? Why is the door open? I don't like the sound of this music whatsoever. You guys coming with? This is kind of eerie. It's been attacked by... by who? The hell's going on? No human could have done this. I'll go on ahead. Wait, I have you equipped. I'll clean up back here, so you guys go ahead and don't get caught by Shinra. Are you guys coming? Come on, let's follow Soap. So let's move on and try to figure out everybody is dead. I do have a new party with me. I will try to properly equip them. Oh. And there are random encounters here at the most inopportune time with a party that I don't have fully equipped. Awesome. So we have the brain pods here. Honestly, don't remember these guys at all. This is not looking good. They have poisoned Sheska. I'm not liking the look of this refuse. These guys are not being very nice right now. Let's go for an ice haul. Can't steal anything. Smack them upside the head, Olive, because that's all I have you with right now. Because I didn't think I needed to equip anybody. Just, yeah, just keep hitting them. Or you could just keep spitting at Sheska. See how that works for you? Oh, now you're in for it, though. Nope, she's asleep, so you're not in for it. Super. If you could hit her one more time, that would be appreciated. Especially with this eerie music still going. We don't even have battle music for this. We're just going with the regular scary-ass music that we had going before. God, Fred does a lot of damage. Yeah, the enemies around here are getting pretty smart in this game. In previous games, they would have attacked the person that was asleep right off the bat. Not in this game. They avoid the person that is sleeping. They're, they're getting smart in this franchise. Okay, now back to our scary moment that we were having. Genova specimen. Looks like it went to the upper floor using that elevator for the specimens. D did it get away? Genova? How, how, how could it get away? It didn't even have a head. But it did. It, it got away. So, we'll have to follow it next time because that's going to do it for these parts of let's play final fantasy 7 i've been muller scuba i've been joined as always by our startled prisoned squad of fred olive and cheska hope you guys have enjoyed these parts hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching